Hey, Damon, we gotta go. We're on the air in 30 seconds. You said make myself comfortable. I know, I know, but where'd you get the sofa? Come on, I'm the big sofa. The big sofa. Damon Jones was a tight end for the Jaguars for four years. Now he's over at Seacoast Christian High coaching the Eagles. I'm how proud of their effort. You know, that's all I could do is keep coaching and keep trying to get them better. Uh, they gave me all their effort. They got on the board, and uh, I'm proud of that, that they didn't give up. I showed them a college tape of a team when I was at Southern Illinois that struggled pretty bad. I showed them that tape just to show them how we hustled, and I asked them, I said, what do you think that team's record was? And we were 1-10 that year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just wanted to send that message to them that right. you, you still got to play hard. Even if you're not winning games, you got to go hard to try and build to get better. And I told him, you know, as, as, when I left my senior year, I had a winning season. All right, one of those millions expected to uh, be watching is former Jaguars tight end Damon Jones, who joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's early. It's I early. know it's a little early for yeah. Saturday. I know. I feel you. Well, Damon, why are these Super Bowl ads highly anticipated every well, year? Well, you know, you've got the drama, you've got the comedian, the funniness where people are it was just kind of since the Apple commercial, they've taken their, their own feet and they've got their own their own identity to the game. And people are just, you know, sitting there watching. And People actually get mad. They want you to be quiet during the commercials instead of the game. It's, it's, it's kind of a role reversal. So going off of that, do you feel that these commercials hurt the game or help the game, draw no, people in? It definitely draws people in. It makes millions of dollars for the NFL, obviously, because they're paying millions of bucks for a 30-second spot. But uh, it's very fun. I enjoy the commercials. Uh, I can't wait to see some of the Budweiser commercials. They're making commercials about commercials, so it's, yeah. it's, it's just so funny to me. Well, today we are going to uh, look at some commercials oh, expected yeah. to set air next week. So uh, let's, let's look at this first one from Audi. Oh, it's not coming up. All right, well, listen. There's a lot of commercials coming. Um, I, I, wanted, I want to talk to you real quick about your experience with the Super Bowl and why you're excited for the Super Bowl. Well, I'm excited for the Super Bowl. I never got a chance to play in one. I got probably uh, half of football close. We were in the AFC Championship in 99, and obviously we lost that game. But it's all, always a fun thing to do. I've been to many Super Bowls. I'm not going to go to New York. It's going to be too cold for me to go there. But I'm interested to see this game. Seattle, uh, Denver, the, two best, the best offense, the best defense. Then I want to see what Bud Light's going to do. I like Bud Light, and hopefully I can see what they're going to do because I'm interested about these commercials. It's been cracking me up for the last two weeks. <laughs> me as well. Well, Damon, <laughs> thanks so much for being here no this problem. morning. No problem. And he'll be here back to join us for all things Super Bowl next oh. week. Oh, yeah, okay. Super Bowl 48, so be sure to tune in for that. Thank you again for stopping by, and stay with us. We have more to come after the break. Now this week we're talking all about the big game. Yeah, Jaguars not playing, but Broncos right. and the Seahawks. Now, what what are you looking for this time around? Oh, it's going to be a physical game, I think. It's going to be real physical. The Seahawks play a real physical defense. Uh, the Broncos played real physical against New England last a couple weeks ago. That's how they were able to beat New England. So I'm looking for a real physical game out of both. Uh, not real high scoring, I don't think. Who do you think is going to be this year's MVP, Damon? That's a tough one to call. Uh, I wish it was you, but you know. I, I wish it was me right. too. Uh, I would have to go with uh, probably Peyton Manning. Uh, I think of yeah, that's just the the, the easy pick. Right. Uh, I'm going to take the easy pick. I think Peyton's got a chance. Uh, but the, my sleeper would be No. Sean Moreno. I think if he's able to run the football effectively, I think that's definitely going to give the Broncos the upper hand of winning that football game. Who do you think is going to win? Wow. <sighs> I would like the Broncos to win. I like Peyton Manning. Uh, I think he's going to do too. an excellent job. Uh, but I also know that Seahawks defense is uh, number one in the league. Uh, but they play very similar coverage. They don't play a lot of different coverages. And when doing that against Peyton Manning, he's had two weeks to prepare. I think he's going to be able to take advantage of that. Now, the big question I want to ask you today is, um, what do you think the final score is going to be? And I'm wow. going to hold you to it. I'm going to look at the score <laughs> and look this interview You're going to be tweeting me? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, final score, I'm going to go... Denver 27. Denver 27. Seattle 21. Denver 27, Seattle 21. Right from Damon Jones. Yeah. He's an ex-Jaguar player, so he knows. You know. Yeah. I think Peyton Manning is going to take a last-minute drive down to win the game for him.
right. Hey, thanks so much for being here. Thank Real you. quick, actually, you know, it's in New Jersey this year. We just saw a video. Yeah. It's going to be cold. It's really going to be. Does that affect the players? It's definitely going to affect their warm up, uh, you know, with the, with the longer halftime. It's yeah. going to be a 29 minute halftime instead of 12 minutes normally. So the players are going to have to get warm back up again. Uh, so that's going to affect them with the temperature dropping in the late into the evening. So I'm interested to see how that's going to affect. And then it's also going to affect what the players wear. Uh, you know, as far as their mobility and things like that. So that'll be interesting to see how those guys come out after half the time and, and react to the to the weather. All right. Hey, Dave, and thanks so much thanks for your for expertise. Me. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right. Join us. We'll have a lot more after the break. See ya.